Hello, good morning. We are currently in Japan. It is our very first morning. If you can hear, my voice is a little raspy because I have been traveling a lot. And honestly, I haven't gotten my voice back since the meet and greet in KL. Not so the Taylor Swift concert? That too. That definitely didn't help. But I'm here with Kevin. I haven't seen him in two weeks. So really nice to be in the same place. I have 10,000 yen units. So today we're going to show you what we spend in Japan in one day. It might be different than what you think. We're going to do a lot of eating. We might do a little bit of shopping. Currently on our way to go eat breakfast. It's raining a lot today, so we got two umbrellas. Most of the hotels here, you can borrow umbrellas from them and they're very nice about it. And so we don't have to go to the store and buy them. We are currently at the first stop for 965 yen. You can get an entire cheesecake. I'll put the conversion on the screen because it's probably very, very affordable. I'm so excited. It is breakfast. It's pre breakfast. Pre gaming for the rest of the day. and then you cannot walk and eat in Japan. So you need to either stand by the road in a socially acceptable spot, or you need to find somewhere to sit down and eat. Oh my God, they changed the design on this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's the Valentine's Day edition, so he's holding a heart. Wow. The raisins are like the perfect addition to the flavor to make it perfect. Our next stop is three coins, which is kind of like a Daiso vibe. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this. Very cute headband. It's the first purchase of the Japan trip. Should I get these cool earrings? I got pearls. So at the three coin store, we ended up spending 990 yen, which amounted to a couple of things. Little haul. First thing that I got is this very cute headband that I'm gonna put on immediately. I also got two sets of earrings. These ones are really cool bow earrings. And then I also got these really cool cuff earrings. Fun fact, there's like no trash cans anywhere. So a lot of people hang on to their trash the whole day. So it's nice to have like a mini bag to be able to store stuff. The most convenient thing about Japan is that you can take public transport almost anywhere. All you have to do is add the Suica card to your Apple wallet and then just place your phone over the IC sensor. So we took the train another stop in order to go to this TikTok viral onigiri shop. Hello. Hello. Are you in Virginia where we're going? No. Just walking with the crowd. For lunch, we got the number one, number two, and number three. So this was 1,950 yen, which is actually well, a bit closer than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what it's like. Like 14 yen. Okay. Oh, it's so good. And now we're off to do some shopping. So that train ride was 190 yen for one stop. Kind of expensive, not so. to do some shopping. If you know me, then you know that I've basically been a Studio Ghibli fan since birth. So we are about to stop by the Lukula Mall in Osaka, which has a specialty store. Pick up two items. One of them is the Look how cute. How could you say no to this? I'm definitely taking this one home. And then we're also picking up one of these little plates to put jewelry which ended up being 6,300 yen. And while that's very pricey, it's still much more affordable than what I would have been able to get this in America for. At the beauty store across, I had to stop by because my mom put me on a mission to get the tier tier foundation. And they did have a blur tint I was looking for. And this was 1,320 yen. Really important to make sure you have a coin pouch in Japan because you will use coins almost everywhere. Mama Rai had texted me asking me to get her this brand new tier tier that just came out. This one's actually shadeless. So it's a mask fit, school sun, Cushion. I'm pretty sure it's just like a sunscreen basically, 
but so this one was actually 2970 yeah my favorite store in Japan is Loft because you can buy anything and everything here is stationery, notebooks, cute things, stickers, home decor. I I need this. Like we need to buy this. Cherry blossoms is that but should I get that one or should I get this one? I like the small one. No, it's sold out. You get Anya. <laughs> this one is sold out the one she Oh my god, that's so funny. Should I get Shaki Shaki? from Loft. We are picking up quite a bit of stationery. Our total for a whole handful of items ended up being 4,290 yen. some very cute pants so we're gonna buy these these are 2,990 yen we're lost no we're not we're just trying to find the best way to... we're lost we're not hello we are officially back to the hotel room i am going to put up the total that we spent here today we're we not going out later Oh. Anyways, we had a super fun time taking you guys around today. Hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, we spent a lot more money than we typically do on a normal day. However, everything here is much cheaper than it is in the US. And so these are the things that we would buy here, but then we refrain from buying them in the US. So I feel like there is that caveat and all this. Did you get anything? Did you buy me anything today? Mm. Oh, I got the two cards at the store. Yes, you did get two cards. Yay, yes. big win. So yeah, it's obviously we're on vacation and we're living our best life and we're not holding back. We'll also put the total expense for the train for today and then the hotel expense. The hotel that we are staying at is called Hotel, hotel Monterey. Monterey Grasmere. Grasmere, something. It's right above the JR station. Yeah, the location is really convenient. It's not like the biggest hotel, but it's also not the smallest. It's also um, not the newest, but it's a good it's price. It's definitely good value because it, I think it was 14,000 points for two nights which is like very affordable 70 bucks per night so technically like the cash i feel like we should subtract that out because i converted that yen one year ago and i already like took the loss then so then now the purchases with cash are free does that make sense like it's not girl math because i i i already did take the l that year like i i had that was in the accounting of that year does that make sense so should i just can, you, can i just go buy stuff with that money then that would be a plus my loss and my gain <laughs> but then that would be zero but you you haven't gained from your losses what gain from what but that just means you haven't gained from your losses i'm gaining today by buying stuff. Yes, yes so you're still gaining i am gaining yay i hope you enjoyed this video let us know what you guys want to see next and we'll see you guys next time bye